So as a lot of you know, the PvP side or the Ghost War side of Ghost Recon Wildlands has been going through a bit of a rough patch right now. It has pretty much been made very clear throughout the comments, through Reddit, through the forums, and even throughout some of the other community leaders. Now, I personally have said multiple times that I unfortunately do not play much of Ghost War because I mostly spend my time on the PvE side. But for those of you that are subscribed to me, I do have a little information for you guys on a future update that will be coming to Ghost War. There is no exact date for when this update will go live, but I do have some of the actual patch notes of it. This is just a bit of information that they've supplied us with for right now. Following information that I'm going to be sharing with you guys was provided to us by the EMEA community manager of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now for the first thing on the list, it says sapper changes. The number of mines is not intended and the team will reduce it significantly to better balance it. So of course this means that you guys will no longer be able to take pictures with a bunch of mines around you and post it on Twitter like I was seeing the moment that this update dropped. The next thing on the list, it says sapper drone health is too high, which is obviously unintended. Its health will be reduced to reflect other drones health. Of course, this is a very big issue and they are aware of this and they will be getting this fixed. Now, next up on the list, it is the marking system. It says our team has made several adjustments in response to community feedback that it was too easy to get intel and mark opponents. The following changes have been made. For binoculars and drones, marking time has increased from 0.5 to 1.3 seconds and weapon marking time has increased from 1 second to 1.3 seconds. If you feel this is not right or it is okay, please share your feedback as usual. So make sure that you guys let me know in the comments how you feel about this. Now for some of the juicy stuff that I know a lot of you were waiting for, which is the PvP class balancing. We're going to be talking about Toxic as well as Medic. And for Toxic, it says, based on the pick rate of classes during Special Operations 3, our team found Toxic to be one of the highest pick classes in the game. Based on the observation, our team felt that Toxic picks were creating a style of gameplay that was too passive because of the amount of interaction denial. The team believes that this change will promote more active gameplay and create a more balanced experience. We will continue to monitor the in-game statistics as well as your feedback to monitor the effects of this change. Next up for Medic, it says, based on our in-game statistics, we found that Medic is one of the most balanced classes in terms of pick and win rate. Our team believes that Medic is currently in a good place. However, we will of course continue to monitor the statistics and feedback. So for those of you that were wondering why Toxic was changed, there is your answer. And for those of you that are wondering why Medic is not changed, there is also your answer. Of course, they are open to listening to feedback. So let me know in detail in the comments how exactly you feel about this. Now, I personally can't give too much of my opinion on this because I don't really play the PvP that much. But I am leaving this up to you guys. And I did want to bring this information for those of you that are subscribed to me and do play Ghost War actively. Really do hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative. If you did, make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of different content. That's pretty much going to do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed and like always, I will see you guys in the next video.